What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Offroad Outlaws. Now I realized in the like last video or last couple videos that my music volume is actually too quiet. Um, actually let's get out of the truck. For this next map, uh, what we're going to check out today is a map called Grizzly Creek County I believe is what it's called. Um, when I was told about it they had said it was Grizzly County but it's or something like that. But it's Grizzly County Creek or Grizzly Creek County, my bad. Um, so, I found the map just by simply typing in Grizzly. Uh, I actually had some issues. Uh, yeah, here it is. Uh, Grizzly Creek County. This is the one uh, made by Kevin Owens. Uh, I know this map's going to take a long while to load. It literally took me, like, I don't know, like two well not two um it took like 45 minutes i want to say to load in total on blue stacks which was quite quite some time to load uh so i'm gonna go ahead and let the map load and we'll check it out i was actually told about this map on discord uh if you guys don't know i do have a discord channel or a discord uh server my link should be in the description of this video actually um, and it shouldn't be expired, but if it's expired, just let me know and I'll re-update the link. Uh, but yeah, I, I pretty much put a channel in my Discord for, uh, Offered Outlaws maps. Not a lot of people have shared their maps in there yet, but if you guys, uh, want your map showcased, that's one of the best places to put your map name if you really want me to showcase your map, because I do check those maps quite often. I actually check it anytime there's a new message. And uh, just getting around to doing the maps is all it is, because there's a lot of you guys that have made map, made pretty cool maps, pretty cool named maps, that really stick out to me. And uh, I really do want to check them all out, so make sure to join my Discord channel, or my Discord server, and drop your map links into the OO Maps uh, channel in there, and I will be sure to check them out, guys. Uh, if you just comment it down below, I, nine times out of ten, I'm not gonna remember that when it comes to time for me to go check out maps uh, just for the fact that I don't go check the comments on individual videos when I do these these I usually check the comments either in that discord channel or in my uh, on my video labeled uh, off-road outlaws once your map showcased uh, those are the main two places I've been checking for map names uh, as well as if you know I, I happen to catch a comment um, you know like it's very, honestly, I haven't tried out any maps that have been just, like, randomly commented on videos. So, yeah, definitely check out my Discord if you want your map showcased. Best place to do it. Um, but, yeah, so I'm just going to let this map load. It's going to be a while. And uh, we'll play the music again because I know I did turn it off. Um, and then I started talking too much. So, <laughs> yeah. See you guys when it loads. All right, guys. Had to uh, get the good song playing there. F map finally loaded. Literally took like 45 minutes. And uh, yeah. But you can see why it is a pretty well done map with a lot of stuff here. Um, road's pretty cool so far. Obviously, we can't break through that stuff, so we gotta watch that after that. There's a lot of really cool stuff out on this map. I did uh, kind of sort of check it out before, but my blue stacks acted up where I couldn't actually like do anything. Like it what wasn't letting me use my keyboard inputs. Uh, but it's basically like an actual town, you know, you got like houses with businesses or whatever with like stuff. Like this is I guess would technically be a gas station. Uh dude did a lot of work to this map and you can you can really tell it it's actually pretty cool. So I figured we'd bring the truck out here, that way we're actually out here with the truck. There we go. Definitely lots of really cool stuff out here. And then like, I don't know, I guess trails maybe? There is some lag with blue stacks on this map just because this map is just that crazy. Wait, oh wow, that's cool. He put, he actually built out an arrow. I didn't even think about that. That's pretty fucking badass. So 
Yeah, it's basically just a little like water hole, I guess. I don't know. Either way, it's got some really nice stuff out here. And if you guys are wondering, the song playing right now is the Zanzi running, uh, as you guys probably know. I guess it's kind of like a little parking lot over here with a drag strip. That's badass, dude. Fuck yeah, man. So yeah, a little drag strip here. And then of course he's got this, these little barriers here, which uh, I assume that's so that you can back up onto it. You can be backed up to it, make sure everybody's equally lined up, basically. Uh, as well as right up here in the middle there, you could have somebody parked there to do lights. This guy did a lot of really awesome work here at the drag strip. Obviously, we don't have an actual drag truck. We're, we're literally out in the tow rig, which has some really short gears just to keep a lot of torque down. Uh, other than that little bump there, this is actually a pretty badass uh, drag strip here. Then he's got that there, so you know, hey, what do you want to lose? It's pretty cool, although I wish he would have put more of a return track over here. Oh, well, I guess this isn't... Oh, yeah, this. Okay, yeah. more. He should have made a little bit more of a return track. You can tell that this is supposed to be the return track. Maybe. Or no, this is just an area to watch the race from, to see who wins. It's pretty badass. There's a little creek there. Uh, this song right now is Marvin Divine Blue Skies, in case you guys are wondering. I don't even have to look at uh, Groove me or my uh, music player to know that. <clears throat> Yeah, because I kind of assumed that this was like part of the return track, but apparently this is more like a little pits area. Or I guess, yeah, I guess, or I, yeah, I guess this is just to like check out the beginning of the race. That's pretty cool. That's pretty badass. Let's go check out some more of this map. Pretty badass little map here. Uh, I say we go check out the rest of this way first. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Looks like it just links. Oh, okay, so it's an actual like trip. Well, I guess it's not this trail because it points the other way. Mm, I'm not a hundred percent sure what's supposed to be going on here. Okay, there's some lag going on there. <laughs> it definitely lags a little bit turning around this corner here. Loading in all that stuff, I would say. It's probably the reason for that. Definitely a cool map. It's definitely well put together. Uh, lots of really cool stuff to go check out. There's even a garage. This guy did a lot of work with what was available to like make these buildings and stuff. And it, it really shows. This guy definitely put a lot of work in here. And this is definitely a map. 
uh, the setup anyways of this map is something like what you could see in Mudrunner if somebody were to make, you know, kind of a city-based map. Uh, the only issue, like, in Mudrunner when it comes to, like, trying to make, like, city maps is the fact that you can't put over, like, the roads. If you connect those roads, like, you can see it even on stock Mudrunner maps where it's just not... It, it conflicts, like, the overlays will conflict, and you can't have, like, the perfect, uh, you know, transitions into it, because it just doesn't work properly. I guess you could drive down there in that water. But the setup of this map is definitely uh, Mudrunner-esque. In a way, because he has like these kind of, you know, cool little roads set up to drive through the map. Uh, wouldn't really call them so much trails. Like, this could be considered a trail, uh, but it's not really. It's not like a rocky trail, it's just like a little driving trail. Like, this would be. If this map was in Mudrunner, it would be a logging map. Like, just put it that way. Like, this is kind of like a logging map style of a mud runner map and it actually uh works out pretty well for off-road outlaws especially when you don't just have that little city there you do have like where you can come out here and you just like exploring through the world of course uh he didn't put like a shit ton of, like trail type areas but all these roads and everything is pretty cool to have and these small little areas where it's like transitions to be like an actual little trail to somewhere. Uh, which I guess this is a garage. It's pretty badass. Little, little badass area. And you can see over there in the distance there's a creek uh, which will make our way over there here in a moment. Just do some Austin Powers stuff to drive out of that. Oh. oh, it's like a little swamp. But hell yeah. A little swampy, swampy place. A little swamp. As much of a swamp as it can be, you know, with, uh, given how much mud we're able to use. Of course, now we have our motor sounds because we dipped under the water. So they kind of blend in with the music there and, uh, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Definitely a nice map. Uh, definitely want to see more maps like this one, you know, set up kind of like this. Of course, maybe not as many custom objects uh, to make a city as there are because that's insane. And I'm sure if he tried to make some rock trails on this map, it would probably be game breaking on a phone. Because uh, even on blue stacks, it, it, it does ha seem to have a little bit of like slowdowns and lag when it's like when you're actually like looking at a bunch of custom objects and stuff <clears throat> well, definitely nice though <clears throat> well, what's this over here just like a little trailer park <laughs> that's pretty badass he made like an actual like little mini trailer park here that's fucking cool dude like Dude, you're 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 making some amazing work here on maps. Like I can't wait to see an actual like off-road map from you where you actually go and you try to make like a bunch of trails. Like I can see a lot of potential in your map making here, dude, and it's it's amazing. Uh, somebody actually recommended this map and it wasn't the person who made the map, but they recommended this on Discord for me to check out, so uh, Bizanzi Involved is playing right now. I don't know what the other song was. I didn't look at the uh, title of it either. <clears throat> but if you guys want to know the other song, I'll look that up. Um, yeah, it's definitely a cool little, cool little map. Is this like a little off-road style? Per oh no, wait, no, we're back over here at the start. Never mind. I just didn't notice how that building was. Ooh, so he basically drove around the whole map. Um, yeah, pretty badass. Mm -hmm. 
We're definitely gonna throw this in the favorites. Ooh. Although, I do want to check out one more thing. Um, because we did take the turn off up here. So yeah, you could crawl through that creek down there, and that's pretty badass. So this road probably just leads around the map more. Yeah, okay. It's a pretty cool little setup over here where he tried to do like a highway. Uh, it actually works out pretty badass. Like, it, it's a pretty cool um, overpass here, I guess you could call it. A little on ramp. Pretty badass. So, let's go drive the highway this way. Although, I think it just ends, it looks like. So, it's a small part of the map that you. It's not really for use. I mean, I guess you could use this if you wanted to. But it's definitely a cool little aesthetic feel, or, a, you know, a cool little aesthetic thing that he did to the map that he didn't have to do. And, uh, it looks pretty badass. But yeah, it just basically just ends up there, because we already saw that. Uh, if you guys had looked over at the scenery from where we were earlier. Oh, wow. So the map spawns, they are randomly around the map. That's pretty badass. Pretty badass map, dude. Uh, definitely gonna recommend you guys to go check out this map if you want a fun little map to go play around on. Other than the deepness of the water over here, that's pretty badass. Wish I could drive in over those rocks. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty badass map. Definitely gonna recommend it to you guys. I know I said that twice. Uh, but yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the map. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. And we'll definitely see you guys all in the next one. Take it easy, guys.